That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Caitlin translating. Thoughts? Yes. Translating to the Just next her level game. of her Just, game. What do you think her transition is going to be like? Well, I mean, I think one thing, it was funny because I was talking with someone about this. And, of course, you know, the next level is always going to be more difficult. But she has, like, you can tell, like, how she plays, that she has the pro mentality. Oh, yeah. You know, like, I think that there's a lot of talented athletes that come into the league. And, you know, everyone struggles. Like, even me. Like, I even had a hard time. I think everyone has that transitional period. But I think the difference maker with people that make it to the WNBA is the discipline. Yeah. And I don't have to see Caitlin work in the gym to know that she has that discipline to be yeah. a pro. Yeah, great point. Yeah. It's like the one thing in the WNBA that always translates no matter what, if you have a motor, you're going to outwork people. For sure. Because there's always going to be people coming to sh into camp, not mm -hmm. ready to play. Right. Like, and she, her motor is crazy. It's crazy. I never see her tired. No. Never see her tired. And she mm -hmm. plays 40 minutes. I yeah. Know. Yeah. Like, legit, all the time. I'm excited. I'm I mean, excited to play against her. But then again, there is a whole side of the other side of the basketball that she's going to have to really like focus on defensively. I mean, and I think yeah, we don't talk about gonna, that enough. That's going to be the one part that when you play the way they do, I mean, she conserves a lot of her energy, right? Rightly so. Right. Where in the WNBA, you don't get to do that. No. No, you're not playing 40 minutes in the WNBA. No. No. What will Caitlin Clark's hardest transition going hmm. into the WNBA be? Hmm. All right. I mean, look, the I game defense. Yeah, the game is just when you talk about how physical the game is, it's just a whole different level. You're talking about the 120 best players in the world, hopefully in peak condition. And that just makes the game harder in itself. You said 120. How many are there? 10 times 12 is 120. NECA. <laughs> Phoenix is only carrying 10, by the way. Um, so for me, I think uh, I really do think kind of like the lifestyle of a WNBA player, you know, realistically, um, we play more games and that mixed with the physicality like that's managing that and trying to level up in like mentality and just like understanding like how to be ready for a back to back how to be ready all of that wears on you and so I think getting into that quickly is going to be probably so I think it's everyone's most challenging thing. We play so much. We yeah. travel so much, you know, and our, the travel isn't easy. So. Absolutely. It's definitely going to be an adjustment. It's adjustment for everyone.